Vicki, Rick, you know, if you have a fire, the fire department comes out. If you have a physical injury, EMS responds. But if someone has a behavioral health problem, Louisville is sending police officers. And the DOJ says those officers do not have the right training for those circumstances. All of society is on a learning curve with regards to proper response to people with uh, behavior or mental health issues. As a former Jefferson District Court judge, David Holton has seen many people circulate in and out of the system. This U.S. Department of Justice report found part of the problem is the way Metro Louisville and LMPD handle people with behavioral health issues. There are better ways. There are more humane ways. There are more financially responsible ways to deal with our mentally ill population. The DOJ found several problems with how officers responded to behavioral health calls. In some cases, officers made jokes, taunted those in crisis, or treated them with disdain. In other cases, they exacerbated problems for example, by surrounding individuals with multiple officers yelling commands. But there are alternatives. We visited seven county services, which one year ago created crisis triage workers to take over phone calls from 911 operators. When you're experiencing a mental health crisis, to be able to talk to somebody who understands what you're going through, who is able to um, just be there with you and sit with you in crisis and de-escalate, um, just have time to, to sit and listen and so that they can feel heard. Nicole Wiseman says they also formed a mobile crisis team at the city's request to send into the field. If they need to go to the hospital, we can get them there and evaluated if need be. We can also connect them with other uh, resources like shelter, just pretty much anything that they would help would help them get through that moment of crisis. The DOJ report makes several recommendations for the city, including expanding the mobile crisis team pilot program, ensuring 911 operators actually dispatch that team and only include police officers when necessary, and improving LMPD's own crisis intervention team. The faster we adapt and uh, uh, address these issues in the, in the right way, the better off we're going to be. Now that mobile crisis team that you just heard about, it started with a pilot program one year ago in LMPD's fourth division. By March 21st, they're gonna have expanded to all eight divisions. Seven County says they'd also like to hire more crisis triage workers, but like a lot of employers, they're having a hard time finding people. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY.